A swing and a big miss. Take a look at the ad Microsoft doesn't want you to see. Is that really what you guys were working on for the last six months? What if the answer was yes? Chartreuse. Did we have to make the new iPhones out of plastic to save money? Days after Apple released its latest iPhone offerings, Microsoft unveiled that ad, along with several others poking fun at the new products. The ads depict fly-on-the-wall-style meetings taking place at Apple's Cupertino headquarters, each ending with a black screen reading, time to switch. But were the ads in poor taste? As many have speculated, the executive at the front of the table we see from the back kind of looks like the late Steve Jobs. It didn't take long for Microsoft to feel the heat. After only a few hours online, it pulled the ads. In a statement to CNET, a spokesperson wrote, The video was intended to be a lighthearted poke at our friends from Cupertino, but it was off the mark and we've decided to pull it down. Off the mark is one way to put it. The ads were widely mocked on social media thanks in part due to the low production quality and cringeworthy acting. So just what was Microsoft thinking? The next web suggests poking fun at Apple's various colors is perhaps Microsoft's way of saying, hey, we thought of this first, but it just comes across as bewildering. And Mac Rumors points out it's not at all clear how the videos, which don't ever explain how Windows Phone is better than iOS, help Microsoft achieve its stated goal of getting users to switch to its platform. Of course, Microsoft wasn't the only one trying to score some free publicity after Apple's big reveal. Google's Motorola got in on the action with an ad that went after Apple's new fingerprint scanner. Auto X responds to you even when your hands are full. No need to press, tap, or wave to get it to play your music. Oh yeah, this is better. And Nokia, whose Lumia phones have long offered different colors, got in with this subtle jab at the company, tweeting, Imitation is the best form of flattery. Thanks, Apple. As for Microsoft, perhaps we shouldn't be surprised. After all, this was the company that brought us butt ping pong. Yep, those ads were yanked offline, too. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.